all, we have not received any formalized training on it. The only thing that we have received is uh, opinions from the Attorney General on how to handle and how not to handle this. And as a result, basically what we're doing is this, is if we see somebody who we arrest and they have no identification whatsoever, we're supposed to ask for identification. And if they don't have any identification whatsoever, we're supposed to proceed from there and say, okay, give me your name and so on and so forth. We have a telephone number and we send that information to INS and INS says either hold them or release them. We want them or we don't. And that's, that's the way the law is. My policy is, has been since the day I got here, there's to be no racial profile whatsoever. And there is, there, even with this new law here, that is an absolute forbidden period. If we find that someone has violated the law, we will abide by that law and we will go by that law. And that, that's, that's where it is in a nutshell, period. And it covers all races, not just Hispanics. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of people are focusing on Hispanics, unfortunately, but, right. but there are a lot of illegal immigrants of every color, race, creed, nationality. And so we, that's why there is no racial profiling in this police department. I find that's the case, and they'll be the first ones that I go ahead and discipline.